So I woke up a little early today because I'm excited about going to Blossom Book House. I know my voice still sounds very sleepy, but I'm gonna vlog this entire process. So here it goes. So I'm all set to visit uh, Blossom's Book House today. And uh, I have visited that place like probably pre-COVID and I haven't gone there after that. So right now I'm going to be taking some of these old books. So because I'm rushing, I'm just like applying sunscreen right now on screen as I'm talking. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to be going to Blossom Book House to show you a little bit of MG Road, Brigade Road and all of that because you're going to be close by to that place. And uh, one of the things about Blossom is that like you can take some of your old books and then you can return it to them and they will give you a store credit. So they give you store credit so that you can buy whatever you want from the store. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I have some of my old books here. I'm not showing you which one those are. Which ones those are. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be returning these trying to get a little bit of store credit so that I can shop for more books and I'm pretty excited. I'll be actually going by my bike to the metro station and then uh, through the metro station to MG Road. So I will show you the process of, I mean, I won't be able to show you when I'm driving, but then I'll show you the metro and how I get in there. Like, so that, you know, in case you want to visit Blossom's Book House, you know how exactly you want to travel. Bye, Mafu. Bye. So Blossom's Book House is on George Street. If you want to reach there by metro, you have to get down at the MG Road metro station. And then from there, it is a five minute walk. So I've reached the MG Road metro station and this is how it looks like. I'm so proud of my Bangalore and uh, I'll be going by walk to the uh, bookstore now. These are some of the most happening places in Bangalore. MG Road, Brigade Road, Church Street and all of that. But unfortunately due to time constraints, I couldn't show you how exactly it looks like. But then I'm showing, I'm giving you a complete picture of how Blossom's Book House looks like and you should definitely visit it. So I've reached Blossom's right now and we are heading right into it. So as soon as I reached the store, I gave them three of my old books and uh, they took just one book because that's the title that they recognized but then they didn't want the other two. So I got a store credit of uh, about 175 rupees which you can end cash at the time of billing. So these are this is how it looks like the entire store. I was greeted with a stack of postcards and then I went to the comic section, shopped for some comics because I wanted some Tinker Digest, Archies and all of that because you know these are light treats like before going to sleep you can't start with a novel because you'll be hooked to it. So a comic is like a light read and you know you just kind of you can finish a short story and then fall asleep so that's why i chose to buy some comic books and then here i saw ali hazelwood colleen hoover and so many other writers you know you you see some popular titles here like you i think this store has almost every book that you want wow there are different sections like you have history, you have science, you have fiction, philosophy, economics, kids section. You know kids section actually stretched for so many aisles and then you have comics like you know you can all see all these bundles of Archie comics, Tinkers, Amar Chitrakata and you know Batman and all of that. So if you uh, actually like you're into comics or any books in general you should definitely visit this store. You can see me eyeing the Archies in front of me. And then I found Vampire Diaries because you know how obsessed I am with it. And uh, here are some of the Tinkle Digests that I spotted. You also have educational books, uh, books to help you prepare for exams and all of that. And then here are some other novels that I came across. Nancy Drew, it was my favorite childhood novel. <laughs> and I also spotted Secret Seven, Hardy Boys and all of that. Like these gave me company throughout my childhood. So I was really excited to see that. And um, there were so many classics, Treasure Island, Robinson Crusoe, Robin Hood, uh, so many things. I'm just not able to list it all. Black Beauty, Call of the Wild. And I was very excited to see that all. So you have new arrivals and you have new books as well and you also have old and used books. So old and used books are given at a discounted rate here. So if you actually buy a book from Blossoms and later go back and exchange the same book, they will give it to you like, uh, I mean, they'll buy back the book with uh, a 50% uh, store credit. So if you are a kid or if you have a kid, please come and check out the kids section in this store. It is just amazing.
tell me you are a book lover by commenting down five titles that you see in this video in the comment section below and i'd love to read that You know what's the best part? Any section that you go to, you will find a huge collection of books by different writers. Like there are so many writers that I came across today that I didn't even know existed. So every time I buy a book, I usually like read the Google reviews. I read the good, uh, I mean, I read the Goodreads reviews, and then after that, I proceed with purchasing. So I discovered so many writers today, and I got a couple of new books as well, which I'm excited to read, and I'll be making a video on that soon. you can see a great collection of stephen king's books here and then you can also see a lot of perry mason books in case you haven't read perry mason books you should definitely read it perry mason is a lawyer and this is a novel written by earl stanley gardner like it's more of a detective and mystery sort of a book and you'll definitely love it it's small and it's awesome and guess who i bumped into rajesh kutrapalli that is kunal nayar's book i was so excited to see that as well on the shelf of course i didn't buy that but i definitely intend to read that book some day soon because big bang theory is one of my favorite series so two hours of shopping at blossom really wore me out i mean i had a great time but i'm really tired right now there are a lot of eateries here in mg road and brigade road of course i couldn't visit it because i had to head home so i'm going back via the metro that's my purchase from blossoms i can't wait to show you all the books that i've got So I reached home after a really tiring trip to Blossoms. I loved the place and I had a great time there. It was almost like a book hell. <laughs> I had a lovely time at Blossoms and I hope you enjoyed the vlog too. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And all the books that I've bought, they are right here. I'll be making a vlog of this. I mean, I'll be making a book haul uh, video soon. Uh, I'll be posting it next week. So until then stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video and do drop in comments so that uh, you know it motivates me to make more videos thank you so much for watching and have a great day ahead stay happy stay blessed bye